So as it's going around, it's reading every, everything on, on the racks, everything that has an RFID tag on it, it is taking it from the uh, uh, Without anybody having to stop them to follow it. See how everything's kind of lit up? Those are the things that it's physically seeing right now. So, so RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to identify things using electromagnetic energy, which means you don't have to see it to, to read it. So uh, the RFID uh, tag will have a small chip and a small antenna, and as it passes through the read field, it will energize the tag, it will report back the data that's on that tag. So what that means as opposed to a barcode where you have to see it, you have to see every one of them, and you've got to be within a few feet, with RFID, you can be 10, 20, 30 feet away, and it can read through boxes, through other materials, and you can see thousands of them at, at one time. Um, almost all of the retailers in the U.S. are requiring products to be checked or to be tested or verified here at this facility by the Auburn students before they go out into the retail stores. So this puts the Auburn students directly in the middle of the process of, of um, having suppliers figure out how to use and implement RFID and how retailers are going to use and implement RFID. We're, we're a central part of that chain. What you're seeing here on the screen, this is a map of the space where we are, and we're standing kind of here. So you can't see the walls, but this is the checkout desk where we're at. These red wedges up here are the antennas that are hanging from the ceiling. So it's these giant white antennas. So what's happening here is those white antennas are scanning everything that's in this room all the time. So as they're scanning this space, uh, it's taking a continuous inventory of all the items in the space, and it's trying to calculate where the items are in this space. To uh, police departments about evidence rooms, knowing where things are, high value assets, banks, museums, anything like that. It's knowing what things are and where they are all the time without having to do anything to, uh, as a human, to, to help monitor that. So we're getting there.